On the side of Pumpkin, this guy is a member of the Fine Gentleman's Club, another regular here at the Vine Street Debate Show. Please put your hands together for Grungy Greg, everybody. <laughs> Grungy Greg. And on the side of Pi, I'm happy to finally have this guy back on the debate show. You've seen him on Showtime. You've seen him all over the place. Please put your hands together for Mr. Chuck Roy, everybody. <laughs> Chuck Roy in the house. Going first on the side of Pumpkin, Grungy Greg. Can we try that again? Okay, well, that was supposed to be a Smashing Pumpkin song anyway. Shakedown 1979. I was going to sing along to that song, and you guys are going to be like, oh, it's a pumpkin angle, Smashing Pumpkins. Where are my pumpkin heads at, y'all? Where are my pumpkin heads? Yeah. You guys agree Smashing Pumpkins is the best band of all time. I don't know if you guys can even argue against that. Billy Corgan, dude, the Korg man, head pumpkin. All right, you guys, I'm like super psyched to talk about the pumpkins. Pumpkins are on top, you guys. Bigger than Stone Temple Pilots, bigger than Soundgarden, bigger than the flames in Waco, Texas right now. <laughs> what, too soon? Okay. This is the 90s, man, and you need a band that understands what it means to protest the mainstream. A band who understands social alienation. A band to crank it when your mom and your little sister won't leave you alone. <laughs> Billy Corgan, dude. Nobody understands Billy. Nobody understands me. Especially my mom and little sister. They almost ruined my first Pumpkins concert. Psh, let me set the scene a little bit. You guys really got to hop on board this Smashing Pumpkins thing or this is not going to work. All right, you guys. I feel like we blew it on that first sound cue. That's where we lost him. All right, you guys, it's the day of the Pumpkins concert. Billy and the boys are set to rock the Terre Haute Pavilions. I'm in a bad mood, you guys, because I don't have a ticket, because I don't have any money, because my mom was tripping and quit giving me an allowance because I quit feeding the dog. So I'm feeling sorry for myself, playing a game of Super Mario World, chugging Crystal Pepsi out of hate, when my mom walks in and tells me that it's my sister's turn to watch TV. I was all like, as if. My mom was all like, chill out. I was like, whatever. So my sister comes in, and I'm like, can we at least watch Real World? She's like, Star Search. And I'm like, Beavis and Butthead? She's like, Star Search. And I'm like, how about Family Matters? You love Urkel. He's all like, oops, did I do that? And she's all like, Star Shirts. And I'm like, oh, whatever. So I decided to go surf the. <laughs> so I decided to go surf the World Wide Web. I got like 50 free AOL hours. It's the 90s, remember? But at this point, my mom is all on the landline with my auntie Janet, and I can't get online. I'm about to go postal, yo. But then I'm all like, WWBCD. What would Billy Corgan do, you know? And then I'm all like, Yeah, I'm gonna pop on the radio. I'm gonna work on a mixtape for my friend Trina because she just got a Walkman with rechargeable batteries. Chi chargeable, rechargeable. That's what I always say. So I go to my boom box. I turn on KROC, K Rock, all rock all the time. And I get my fingers on the record button with my boom box and I wait for some nails, peppers, or chains. <laughs> After I snag a fresh track from White Zombie, DJ Wolfface comes on and he's all like, oh, whoa, whoa. Attention listeners, we got two free tickets to the Smashing Pumpkins tonight. The fifth caller at 1-800-666-K-ROCK. I run into the kitchen, snatch the foam out of my mom's hand. I'm like, sorry, Auntie Janet. And then a voice is like, what? And I'm like, whatever, Todd, you'll never be my real dad. And I hang up the phone, pick it back up, 1-800-666-K-ROCK, which takes a while because my mom still has a rotary phone because she's stuck in the 80s. But somehow... I get through and DJ Wolfface says, congratulations, you're the fifth caller. You've won two tickets to see Smashing Pumpkins. Who are you going to take? And I was like, uh, my stupid mom, I guess. <laughs> so I hang up the phone and I say, mom, we got to take me to see the Smashing Pumpkins tonight. And she's like, well, we got to find something for your little sister to do. And I'm like, uh, can't the dog just watch her? And she's all like, the dog is still too hungry to be left with a seven-year-old. And I'm like, uh. 
And I'm like, ugh, fine. So we drop my sister off with my auntie. She's really annoying the whole way there. She's all like, smashing pumpkins suck. And I'm like, you suck. And she's all like, Billy Corgan is ugly. And I'm all like, you're ugly. And then she's all like, grunge is stupid. And I'm like, you're stupid. And then she's like, your mom is stupid. And I'm like, your mom is stupid. And she's like, that's your mom. And I'm like, shut up, Trisha. <laughs> we finally drop her off and barely make it to the venue on time. I'm there with my mom and she looks like an idiot because she's not wearing any flannel or Doc Martens. They start the show, they start with a little bullet with butterfly wings, working a little 1970s sign, finish up with Tonight Tonight. Best show of my life. Afterwards, the pumpkins. After the pumpkins, the Savage Garden. Hell yeah. They're headlining. Who comes out to watch the show next to me but Billy fucking Corgan, you guys. Savage Garden starts to rock. I tell my mom, stand 10 feet behind me. Billy sees this. And he turns to me and he says, these guys are awesome. And I was like, you're awesome. He either like rolled his eyes at me. And then in that moment, I knew that he was a pumpkin and that I was a pumpkin and that we together were pumpkins. Smashing pumpkins and pumpkins. My God, you, you are a generous audience. Uh, I, I have never heard a group of people actually openly admit that they like the Smashing Pumpkins. Uh, I think you're just giving my opponent the benefit of, well, fucking A, you found one argument that might work. And good job. I, I, we all get it. Pumpkin versus pie. Pie trumps that like a motherfucker. Pumpkin is not good until it becomes pie. <laughs> Clearly, I won when I woke up today. <laughs> Pumpkin is like an ex of mine. Unless it's baked, I hate its guts. <laughs> when the moon hits your eye, it's like a big pizza pie. What if it was a pumpkin? That would fuck your eye up. <laughs> Everyone likes, anybody into pumpkin pizza? No. Pizza pie? What are you? I was about to call you cunts. Some of you seem to be against the pizza and its delicious pie-like qualities. Perhaps you got hit in the head with a pumpkin. <laughs> that would be the only way you could choose pumpkin over pie. Who doesn't like pie? Are you afraid of fruits? We ain't doing that. We haven't done that since grunge was cool. I would eat hair pie. <laughs> before I eat pumpkin pie. We're talking like 70s hair pie. I'm from, a, I'm from the, I'm a 90s comic. I'm not afraid of grunge. I just knew to go to comedy clubs for something more artistic. Uh, and if you're not familiar with real bush, some of you are young people. You, you, it's trimmed up for you real nice. Just, it's Halloween, toss in Carrie, and then watch that shit talk to you like a whole whole new character. I'm down here, and this was what it was like before. I'd rather put my face there than midst a pumpkin. I'd rather eat 80s bush, like George. 90s bush, there's sad rock. 2000 bush, I bet you he trims. I'd rather eat Bobby Crane's bush than pumpkin. It was Kennedy who said, ask not what your pumpkin can do for you. Ask for your pumpkin in the form of pie. It's <laughs> a lot of white people. That's probably a hero to yours. <laughs> Some of you are probably like me, going, how about you find a non-white guy to be your fucking hero? Stevie Wonder said a Sesame Street. Anybody ever YouTube that? He plays Superstition. It's a motherfucker of a video. Check the Green Room Rider. It's on Google. He likes huckleberry pie and blueberry pie in his fucking green room when Stevie Wonder plays Sesame Street. Does he ever say, leave me a slice of pumpkin? Fuck no. 
Rare fact, Nelson Mandela's funeral served pie. The only person to eat actual pumpkin was the crazy sign language interpreter. <laughs> Let's go international. Shakira likes a beer with her pizza pie. Cy likes his pie Gangnam style with blueberry pie. Daniel Boone once carried a pie from his dear sweet wife, Rebecca, all the way to a group of Indians in Ohio, and he kept it warm. The only creature I know that eats pumpkin in a form, in any other form of pie, is my friend's dog, when it has diarrhea. <laughs> That's the only reason to eat pumpkin, is to keep your shit tight. <laughs> Even fascists like pie. Here's a little tip, when you bake a Jew, do it with pork pie. That's what he said. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> now I'd like to share an ode to the pumpkins with what bullet with butterfly wings means to me. Okay. <clears throat> the <w> yeah, you think of a fucking angle for pumpkins. This shit sucks. I was like smashing pumpkins. People are going to be like, hop on board the 90s shit. <laughs> The world is a vampire sent to drain. Kind of like how my mom and my sister drain me of my sanity. Sheesh. <laughs> Secret destroyers holds you up to the flame. Just like how my mom and little sister are constantly trying to burn me on family game night with Uno when I want to play Yahtzee. <laughs> and what do I get? What do I get for my pay -ay -ay? I get to go to my room until I change my attitude. <laughs> Betayed... <laughs> Betrayed desires and a piece of the game. Like my desire to be the car piece when we play Monopoly, but my sister always calls it. Despite all my rage, I'm still just a rat in a cage. Yeah, like a starved rat whose mom won't let him move out until he gets his GED. <laughs> and someone will say, what is lost can never be saved. Yeah, like my Jane's Addiction CD that my mom threw away because of the vivid drug references. Ugh, who cares? You can't even find weed in Terre Haute. <laughs> <laughs> Despite all my rage, I'm still just a rat in a cage. Yeah, a cage that'll buy my sister a Tamagotchi doll, but that won't let me see Pulp Fiction, even though I'm 17. <laughs> tell me I'm the only one. Yeah, Billy, tell me I'm the only one. Tell me there's no other one. Yeah, Billy Corgan, please tell me there's no other one. Jesus was the only son, just like me, Billy. I feel like I'm your only son, Billy. Jesus was the only son for you, Billy. This part kind of confuses me. Do you want me to believe in Jesus or not? Because I will. Anything you say, Billy Corgan. <laughs> and I still believe that I cannot be saved. I still believe that I cannot be saved. I still believe that I cannot be saved. And of course, I'm talking about this debate right now. All right. <laughs> the pumpkins, y'all. He's doing great. Bobby, you did such a good job, dude. For tonight, I'm going to take you out for a nice slice of pumpkin. <laughs> Bobby thought he heard two words tonight when he could advocate for. Pump and kin. <laughs> Means he likes to fuck his family, y'all. <laughs> Bobby's arguments are brought to you by the new pumpkin spice Imodium A.D. You could eat some pumpkin to tighten up your shitty arguments. <laughs> the fact that you can't control your verbal bowel movements shows me that you're not a young comedian anymore. A quick reminder, folks. Send your letter to Santa. It is very important that you ask him for that fantastic Christmas pumpkin. You don't want to be the one left out. Nobody fucking likes pumpkin. You found the one way. Maybe people like Smashing Pumpkins. If you do, download a free album of the Smashing Pumpkins at sadpeoplelikefuckingpumpkin.com. <laughs> We're about to vote, everybody. This shit gets serious. Real things get decided tonight. Tonight, you have to decide. Is America, is Colorado, is anything more American than pumpkin? Or is anything more American than pie? I'll take you out for an apple pie if you give me my vote. Or you can have yourself a fucking slice of pumpkin. 
it's tonight, it's your choice. I hope you choose pie. All right. Uh, for those of you keeping score at home, that is uh, two incest references tonight, you guys. Two. We, we beat the old record of zero. Uh, we doubled it somehow. All right. We got to pick a winner, you guys. If you are on the side of Pumpkin, let's hear it for Grungy Greg. <laughs> Grungy Greg is under the impression that Savage Garden is a grunge band, apparently. He's very dumb, that uh, grungy Greg. <laughs> and if you're on the side of Pi, let's hear for Chuck Roy, you guys. Chuck Roy. I think you got, oh, a lot of people some Pi tonight yeah. because your winner is Chuck Roy, everybody, on the side of Pi. Give a nice round of applause for grungy Greg, Chuck Roy. Everybody you see tonight.